Hi everybody, this is gonna be like the most random video I've ever done. What I have here is a box. I By the way, can we just admire this box? We ordered a Monopoly for our Monopoly night. We had eight Monopolies and we bought second-hand Monopolies and someone made this box out of perfectly cut out shaped pieces of cardboard taped together. Look how lovely that lid is. Anyway, in this box is a pile of flyers and leaflets that I made at the beginning of my youth work career. So like a lot of youth workers, I do a lot of my own design. Uh, can't afford to hire a designer and so we, we work at our own computers and we make it look good. Um, social media, flyers, posters, postcards, we like to design our own things and I've never been terrible at design. I've always quite enjoyed design, uh, but this is right at the beginning being paid to do it for my youth group. So I've kept a lot of what I've done over my career and sort of have them in plastic wallets and boxes. I just gathered all of it, shoved them in this box, haven't really looked at any of them, and I'm gonna react and respond to my earliest designs for youth work flyers. So here we go. First one. <laughs> I remember this. Okay, this is Fresh Fest and it, if you're familiar with Leeds or Reading uh, festivals, I'm blatantly ripping them off. Fresh Fest was, uh, well, it says here, your mini guide to Fresher's Fortnite. First two weeks in September, helping new people gel in new groups. So I had main stage. Main stage, number one, Night of Mayhem. Um, games, tie-dyeing, movie, and I've got, I've got S in brackets because it might be more than one movie. And a whole lot of sugar. <laughs> Laser tag, um, silver service meal, that's quite nice. Um, Caleb Club style, that's awkward if you've never been to Caleb Club and don't know what it is, but Caleb Club style, for you and your family. So that's a family thing that I did. I can't remember doing that, but you and your family, silver service meal. I have no idea how that went because I can't remember it. And the snack bar, spelt S-N-A-K, and no space between snack and bar. Um, meals at their house. Yeah, I remember that, having people around at our house. Uh, sponsored by Earl Grey Jelly Beans, trademark. I have no idea what <laughs> But I'll, I'll just count the fonts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's at least 11 fonts on this. And what I love is it's actually printed on 35 mil photo paper. That's because we were still at that time using 35 mil cameras and so shops had 35 mil printing machines where I printed off like 500 of these. That is spectacular. <laughs> what else we got? Oh wow. Oh wow. I remember these. Koinos with the K spelt backwards. Koinos Greek for fellowship. Uh, we had home groups for youth groups, different age groups uh, and we called them Koinos groups. I can't read any of this. How like like abstract and mystical is that? What was I going for? By you, by your works, I can see where I'm going. Words, by your words, I can see where I'm going. They throw a beam of light on my rank path. That can't be right. Oh wow, I remember this. Church is dead, so it says, if God isn't in it. And this is like all the things we were doing at one point. When was this? 2007 maybe? So there's three, three projects on this and you can see that I've, I've, I've sliced the edge off. I think I printed these on photo paper and then sliced it myself, which is why it's basically cut the letters off at the end. Uh, lots of different fonts again. Youth Faith Community. Isn't that interesting? That was avoiding calling it a youth club. I was also avoiding calling it a youth church, which is kind of what we were. Youth Faith Community. And I think what was going on here is I was starting to read a lot of emerging church stuff at the time. I was thinking a lot about building uh, postmodern styled communities. So a lot of the abstract art in this is that, but it's a weird thing. So this is uh, Cable Club, which is our main group, Quinos, our home groups, and Tea Cozy. We had an event called Tea Cozy. What we did is we went around all the charity shops, bought a whole bunch of weird teapots and cups, and then had a whole night dedicated to drinking tea. That's all it was. What else have we got? Oh, look at that. This could have been so cool if I somehow put the logo in the middle of the 
flyer, the, the, uh, the postcard. It's, I remember these, all of them were cut off to one side or another. I don't know if that's the printer's fault or my fault. Uh, I think we got these professionally printed. It's like GSM 120 or something. It's quite a, it's quite a, a thick paper um, and it's got a matte black finish and it's popped with your know, green and orange. I was sort of learning to use the color wheel and going, okay, orange and green are contrasting colors, but I used the wrong green to contrast this particular orange. Uh, taking music captive for Jesus Christ. I know what I was trying to say there, but it's not massively clear, is it? Um, a network, a training ground. Okay, why is network not capitalized and everything else is? And why is training ground and prayer movement justified together? I was doing a lot of these squeezing words together things, um, but again, too many fonts. A night to scout those who want to see Jesus at the heart of the music scene in Southeast London. That's kind of cool when you think about it. The Muse is a good name. And it's kind of a good name. There's some awkward Greek philosophy that could have triggered in people's minds. Um, the Muse is calling for musos and music lovers to commit to a network, to prayer, to training, and a mission to see music taken captive for Jesus Christ. Wow. The front's quite cool, though. I really like that logo and the and the sort of frequency graph. What else have we got? Oh, this is quite similar. This def I definitely printed this myself on card. Sessions. Legends in progress. This was our regular, basically, open mic night. Uh, chill out at Sessions, a coffee shop style night of open mic, fresh music and performance. And we really were feeding the young people real coffee. Not a good idea. Recently we did a, a coffee shop hop with our young writers group and one young person had way too much coffee because we were having coffees like everywhere we stopped and we were buying them coffees. And I didn't think this, these young people with their young bodies cannot take this amount of double shots of caffeine every 45 minutes. So we'll do that again. <laughs> it was great. MySpace! It says MySpace! MySpace.com slash CCB sessions. We were using MySpace! That's how long ago this is. Wow. So it's, this is my favorite thing that we did. I loved sessions. A proper stage, open mic, loads of people got in on it. It was awesome. What is that? Youth Guide December 2010. So this is three years into my job, I think. So it's not quite at the beginning. Um, such a cool font, Youth Guide, such an epic font, but why is there sheep here? What? I, I, I definitely love the abstract, but why have it, it's a ginger sheep, maybe because I had ginger hair, I can't remember this at all, there's a really, oh, it's like a part of a bad graph on the back of that. Whoa, okay, oh, 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 I can't hear you, that's way too noisy. Wow, that's loud. I think it's my first time trying an infographic. Okay, this is everything I hate about design. It's when everyone stuffs it on one page, gives it all different fonts and borders, and think that makes for a healthy way of reading. It's, this is awful. I've even got Hot Chock and Chat in the middle. Hot Chock and Chat was one of our after church Costa sessions with young people, but it's all in different colors. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh, that's Comic Sans. That's, com oh no, 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 that's, that's Comic Sans as well. I've always said I've never designed anything with Comic Sans. That's Comic Sans. I've used Comic Sans. That is actually chill out with us in Tim's office with hot chocolate. We went to Costa eventually, probably because it's really weird hanging out in a guy's office. Um, time to puzzle together over life, the universe, and everything in all caps in light of our faith in Jesus Christ. Be in croissants. I can't even remember doing that. Coffee and croissants. 242, which is like all the home groups together, we got involved in that. We They all bought, all, 242 is a big hall. All the home groups got around a table each. And so we bought our Koinos groups, our small groups. And um, they all bought sandwiches. We bought a toaster. We had this huge like eight slice metal toaster that was so dangerous. And this huge coil of cable that we like, we like hung out across the whole hall. And we had this ridiculous smell of burning toast coming from our table. Brilliant. Oh, that is, oh, there's a, there's, oh, there's a, they are timetable on the back. Timetables are always a good idea. Calendars, <laughs> that is awful. That is the worst thing I've ever done. Okay, I've got a couple of these. Uh, these are notebooks. <laughs> Sorry. These are notebooks from our weekends away. The first one is Nawa. Nawa is not a weekend, weekend away, which I think is pretty genius. We did a, a Tuesday to Thursday weekend away, so not a weekend, weekend away, Nawa. 2011, so this is my last year working at this church. And this is just, um, yeah, all their sessions and notes. That's quite nice, that's quite clean. I quite like the font, fair enough. Nothing too exciting there. But this one is an utter disaster. This is like so 1980s. This is called, uh, what's up? 
and other important questions. <laughs> oh, I, I actually made this <coughs> full on old school. You can see if you look carefully that I've cut things out and sort of moved them and photocopied it. And that's how I've made the design. Literal clip art, clipping things and moving it on the photocopier. And oh, it's different colored paper all about the different core paper. Session one, Lost. You've got to love how I've used the logo from Lost, and this is the 11 to 14s uh, weekend away. So hopefully they've never seen Lost. Um, session two, I am the Stig. Uh, actually, our guys were huge Top Gear fans. Session three, Life Magazine. They have no idea what that is. Session four, Scooch. I've got an XKCD comic in here. That is awesome. Uh, and then spare paper. Right, what else we got? Oh, full, full poster, full poster, open mic night. That's quite nice. Lots of white space. Going for the corner balance, our old logo in the bottom there, which is an awful logo. Um, far too much writing, way too much information, and, and things are overlapping. There should be white space around all these, so that's gonna be particularly critical. Uh, but I can see what I'm doing, trying different fonts, trying to go with, with non-serif fonts, with uh, open space. Um, very black and white, very basic. Uh, do, 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 do. Timmy G at hotmail.co.uk. That's an email I don't have anymore. Timmy G. Did anyone ever call me Timmy G? Oh, we're getting there. There's a couple more in here and I'm done. Two more in here. Oh, this is interesting. This is a Soul Survivor form. And we did trips to Soul Survivor every year, 2009. And it's pretty squashed up now, but information. Um, clipped over photos, which you can't really see at all, including knocking off people's heads. Informa wow, this is the smallest form. I definitely needed to take more information than this. That's pretty sketchy. Okay. Whoa, look at my hair. Ha! That's amazing. That's the worst. I, I, this is what, like right now, no hair. I used to have really long hair, but it sort of grew out and down and I didn't know when to cut it. And I never spent, you know, money on proper barbers. So it always looked terrible, but I had really long hair. Last one. Oh, that's quite cool. It's awful, but it's quite cool. Kale Club, which is our main uh, 14 to 18 youth group that we did on Sunday evenings. Real people, real lives, real faith. A community together seeking authentic Christianity. Gathering to honour Jesus through spiritually honest life together. Soul searchers encouraged. Skeptics welcome. Imperfect people desired. I think I just read the book, No Perfect People Allow, by John Burke. Interested? Question mark. That's quite a fun way to end it. Interested? <laughs> and there's three pictures in this. Uh, guitar, a cross, and shoes. Um, going, again, reading Emerging Church stuff, and I wasn't massively into Emerging Church philosophy and theology, but I really liked their aesthetic, especially the Dan Kimball books. And then big open space on the back. I guess it's white space balance, but there it is. Wow. Is that it? That is it. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Now that was fun. Um, what's interesting to notice is some of it is terribly designed, but you can really see my heart in that to create community and a creative expressions of community and gather around food and really try to create a space where people feel um, welcome and, and really spiritually, um, spiritually something. I'm not sure what spiritually was. Spiritually scratched, I poked, I don't know. But you know, we're trying to instigate an interesting high spirituality, high creativity culture and community. And for South London, that actually worked really well with the people there. Um, but yeah, some truly awful designs. Thanks very much for sharing this with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>